So the Black Ops Cold War beta has been open for everyone to play as of yesterday, as of the recording of this video, and the reason why I didn't get around to playing it on the 8th through early access on the PS4 like um, all the sweaty tryhards that are no doubt already at the max rank in the beta is because of the fact that, you see, I'm getting the game for PC, okay? That's very important to know. I, I know y you all definitely gave a shit about that, and I've probably said it at least at the minimum a thousand times in Black Ops Cold War videos, but just so you know, that's what's up, okay? That That's what's on the menu today. And, um... Also, Sony sucks ass when it comes to refunds because they don't have a proper refund system in place like Microsoft does, so hopefully they'll copy that from them as well, like they did with, um, you know, having to pay $60 a year for, pay for playing games online, which, you know, I do anyways. And, um, yeah, also, you can only get access to the early access um, by pre-ordering it digitally, not physically, so you can't, you, you can't use a loophole like pre-ordering physically on Amazon anymore because, of course, of course you can't, you know, it's Activision. And as much as I love digital gaming because I don't buy games physically, that that's really scummy, but again, real shocker there, I know. Who, who saw that coming? Anyways, I've put, eight, I've put eight hours into this beta overall, I want to say. And overall, I think it's very good, but there's some things, some problems with this beta that holds it back from being truly great. So let's just get into it because there's some things I want to say. So starting with the positives. At its core, this game feels great. Just like Modern Warfare, the gunplay on its own feels fantastic. It feels satisfying. It's tight. That Yes, that is what she said. Um, it feels extremely satisfying to kill. It feels very satisfying to slide around. This mechanic is fun as fuck. And aside from Modern Warfare, when it comes to the alpha of Black Ops Cold War, this thing definitely is overall an improvement, I would say. It just feels, again, a lot tighter. And th there's just a lot of other improvements outside of that, like the graphics, for one, are definitely better, albeit they're nothing amazing, they're nothing incredible. But they do look good, I would say. Again, definitely much better than the, than the alpha. They look like shit on the alpha, basically. And, um... Yeah, as someone who played it on a uh, base PS4, both the Alpha and Beta, I would definitely say that it's a step up. Also, something else that's a step up is the addition of the FOV slider. Oh my god, oh my god, thank you for finally bringing this to consoles. Thank you, because this is something that should have been there from the start. The fact that y'all could bring fucking motion blur to your console version of games four years ago, but it took this long to finally fucking bring... Uh, an, an FOV slider, I, I don't get it, but you know what, we're gonna roll with it. At least it's finally here, and that's what matters. And not having everything so close up to me as I play this game now is just great. Um, another good thing I like is the score streak system. I know that people have their issue with it. You know, it's very reminiscent of the MW3 support streak system. But I think that it's a nice take on score streaks also... I don't think that just going right back to what Black Ops 2 did would be the best course. Like, you know, find a way to build in it. And I think they did a very good job of that here. I also like the gunsmith. Um, the credit class system overall is really good. I I'm just really liking everything that's here. Also, I'm liking the new map cartel. That's a fun map. Except for the bushes that you can hide in. But I really like this map. I also really like the new mode for combined arms called Assault. Um, if you've played war, and I'm not talking about fucking war from COD World War II, okay, relax new fans. No, I'm talking about war from World at War, and I think Call of Duty 3. Because you see, this this game mode was the shit. That's all I'm gonna say about it. It was the shit. Like, it, it was just pure fun. You can go look up YouTube videos of World at War, war gameplay. And you'll see what I mean. They brought it back for this game, but renamed it to Combined Arms Assault because it has up to 24 players instead of 18. So I guess it's not exactly the same mode if we go off of that little technicality, is it? Maybe, perhaps? I don't know, but I'm happy that this, that this mode's back because it's, it's probably my favorite mode in the game because it's just fun. Black Ops Cold War really brings war to its game. Also, there's a little bit of gore here as well. Not not as much as there should be, in my opinion, but I'm really feeling the direction that they're going for here. And yeah, just all in all, 
there's a lot of good here. At its core, this is a great game, but there's some things that are holding it back from showing off its true potential, aside from the fact that it has one less year than it should of development. Um, for one, the elephant in the room, which we know that the developers and publishers will never address, skill-based matchmaking. Just like, just like the alpha, the first day of the beta, I held my own pretty well. It was a, an extremely fun time. And then just like the alpha, day two of the beta, I got shit on basically every single match. Okay, I guess. And that's not even including the quick scopers, which were probably 80% of my deaths, I want to say, which th this is another problem we need to get into. Quick scoping is way too fucking easy. Now, when when I said that this game in a way reminded me of Black Ops 2, this is not what I fucking meant, okay? I didn't mean bringing back aim assist on sniper rifles. I meant having a fun, fast, fluid pace of gameplay. That sort of resembles Black Ops 2. Not the fucking bloopity bloop bloop cheese from that game. Shout out to Thunder for that, because that's sort of his thing. <sighs> also, something else we gotta get into is the uh, hit registration and the lag compensation, because that's something else that exists outside of skill based matchmaking that is yet another feature that's re that's returned from black ops 2 you see there's many times in this game where i'll shoot an enemy first literally right up close yet my bullets somehow don't detect or if they do it's still not enough yet you fucking kill me within one fucking shot basically even without a sniper at most a few bullets with the same weapon i'm using yet i'm i'm dead when again i was shooting you first i i don't get how this lag competition got worse go going from the alpha to the beta. I, I don't get that, but I hope that's sorted out by launch. I really do. Just like skill-based matchmaking, because listen, listen, in theory, it's a great idea. But if it's at the cost of making the game sweaty, then get rid of it, please. But we know that they won't, because uh, it makes too much money. It, it, it appeases the casuals, because a lot of people really just aren't good. And this definitely helps to a point, but when you get decent enough, it's like every single lobby that you're in, it's like you're always paired up with, with players of the same skill level. So it's like, how can you tell if you're getting better or not if all, the, if all the enemy players that you're fighting off against are just as good as you? You can't tell because it's like practice is supposed to make perfect, but how can you become perfect if everyone else is just as perfect as you? Y you see this flawed logic here, guys? This is the issue. Also, apparently, like, some people think that skill-based matchmaking may affect connections for games, which, if that's the case, it's definitely affecting my game, because it'll say that I've entered the match, but then I'll end up waiting, like, 30 seconds to a minute for it to finally find some players to fill the lobbies, only then for the match to finally begin. And then from there, we finally get the cool intro cutscenes, which... The fact that everyone's always running in them compared to in Modern Warfare, where everyone's just like... Yeah, it's like, that That definitely shows Treyarch's priorities. They're more about the running and the gunning than the camping and the blamping. I don't know what blamping means. <laughs> but, <sighs> yeah, all in all, this is a very good beta. This game has a lot of potential to be truly great, but these issues hold it back. And after a while of these issues, it, it just becomes exhausting. <laughs> it just becomes tiring. Like, it's not even fatigue. It's like, even eight hours in, I was still having a blast with the game, but just the skill-based matchmaking, the quick scoping, the map crossroads, Miami, Moscow, just all, all the flaws of this game, just, it makes it exhausting to play. And I'm, st and... We're still reaching the time limit in Miami, you know, just talking about that real quick, Treyarch. It doesn't matter what you do, this map's too big. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry David Vondahar, but... Unfortunately, this map is too big for 6v6. Listen, you, you are still the lord and savior of Call of Duty. That is a fact, but... It's time to remove Miami. Just like how the US should remove Florida from the country with the way that uh, Florida is. With COVID and all that shit, you know, Florida's Florida, as everyone knows. Anyways, 
that's all I wanted to say about the beta. I just had some thoughts because, you know, might as well talk about it. And so, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, as well as turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications so that you hopefully get all videos in the, within the future. And I will see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.